book fans, welcome to a special edition of Cammy's Comic Corner, the book of the month for April 2010. I'm your host as always, Cammy. So the book, which I've been meaning to talk about for a while now, the book selection of April is from Pantheon Books. It's Asterios Paula by David Mazzicelli, or Mazzicelli, however you want to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced a couple different ways. And basically, the reason I picked up this book and picked it as the book of the month, and even my graphic novel of 2009, was because the art on this is just mind-blowing. But before I get into that, let me tell you a little bit about the specifics. It came out in July of 2009, and, I, and it just, everyone, as soon as this came out, was just gushing over it. I didn't hear one bad review, which made me a little cautious, because I was like, okay, it could be all just hype, I'll wait a couple months, wait for everyone to die down, then see what the whole consensus is. Well, it turns out, even after a couple months, it was still, everyone was just going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over this book. So finally I read it, sat down, read it, and it just blew my mind. It was just, not only the story was good, but it was just mainly the art. Because when you think of David Mazzicelli, or Kelly, you think of Batman Year One and his work on Daredevil, and how, you know, that's his style. You have several different styles going on in this book. And one of my favorite things about this book is you don't see any black ink. If you want black ink for something, then it's dark purple instead, and all the other kind of primary colors. But anyway, you have this professor of architecture at Ithaca College in New York named Asterius Paula. Uh, he's kind of an intellectual, kind of a jerk, kind of an asshole because, you know, he has he knows all the answers. Well, one day during a storm, uh, a lightning storm, a bolt of lightning hits his apartment complex and sets it on fire, destroying everything he owns. And just without the money in his wallet, takes a Greyhound bus out to the middle of nowhere in the small town, becomes a uh, auto mechanic. Just goes to the local library there, learns all the basics, and the guy in charge of the uh, mechanic shop lets him board at his house for free because uh, he's just an interesting fellow. And meanwhile, throughout this whole time of him working at this auto repair uh, spot, you go through his the flashbacks of his life, where you learn that he had a twin brother at birth, but he died. And so you kind of get the narration at sometimes in the dreams and throughout the book of his dead brother and what he might see. You also get uh, the, like the Greek myths, because he's kind of Greek in origin, of this one uh, being in Greek mythology where it was uh, two different people and then they split. And so you, us as individuals are constantly looking for that other half to complete us again. And then you get introduced to his wife, Hannah, who's a sculptor and very shy and quiet compared to him, who's just the life of the party, everyone's paying attention to him, and he likes that. He likes all the attention on him. And then you see their fights, why they got divorced, why they were in love in the first place, etc. And you hope that they get in, back together at the end and rekindle the, their relationship. Well, guess what? They do. But it's just the journey on uh, towards that relationship and, and reconnecting that just blows you away. You get so many different characters. Uh, like I said, the different art styles is really what gets you. It catches you off guard because this guy... No one was expecting this from David Mazzicelli. He just said, oh, by the way, here's this book that I did, and then just nothing. No press, no nothing. It was just word of mouth that really helped get this book to where it is today, and that's just awesome. When you're an artist slash writer and you can just do that, you don't need to do all these press tours and say, like, you know, if you like this, and you, then you'll like that. But if you have to try to compare it to something, it's kind of in the same tone as uh, Mouse, or even Jimmy Corrigan, The Smartest Boy on Earth. If you like that kind of style, uh, that kind of tone, you're gonna like this book. But I highly recommend it because there is just so much story and just so many gorgeous art. If, you, if you're a graphic design major or an artist, this is a must have for you because you can learn a lot from this book about just different styles and what have you. This should be required reading for some art colleges, in my opinion, because it's just, it blows your mind. It's phenomenal. So that is your book of the month for April. It's just hands down uh, my pick of the month. <laughs> uh, it was nominated for a couple of Eisners this year, and, and rightfully so. If this doesn't get the Eisner for like best graphic compilation or graphic album, I think it's the category, then the the, uh, the judges for the Eisners should just be round up and shot. And I will gladly leave that party because this is such a fantastic book. 
Well, comic book fans, that does it for the book of the month for April. Uh, if you want more Kamis Comic Corner goodness or more book of the month reviews of the past, head on over to www.kamiscomiccorner.com. From there, you can subscribe to us on the RSS feed, see the reviews, see the book of the month reviews, see the WonderCon and Comic Con episodes, etc. Also, if you like any of the kick ass t shirts or sweatshirts that you see me wearing, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Head on over to DeadlineGraphics.net and send Kelly an email. He has the best of custom-made t-shirts, comic book t-shirts, whatever you're thinking of, he can pretty much get it done for you. There's only one name that I trust when it comes to comic book memorabilia, and that is Kelly at DeadlineGraphics.net. And also, huge shout-out to Rising Sun Creations at rsc-online.com. They specialize in the best of comic books, manga, and collectible toys imported straight from Japan. If you want more... Rising Sun Creations goodness, check them out on their online store, Rising Sun at rising, uh, rsc-online.com. Well, that does it for the Book of the Month for April. Tune in for May. I got a superhero uh, themed one, so uh, that's, that's always fun. And if you want to write your reviews of whatever you see, check out the site, like I said before. So, this has been the Book of the Month for April. Serious Pollock, great stuff. I've been your host, Cammy. Still, great guy, great stuff. Catch you later. Yeah.